Well, March is right around the corner. It's gonna be a busy month. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Zach and today I wanna to talk to you guys about film festivals. Now these are the things that all short filmmakers strive for. This is the goal when we sit down to make a short film that this is the place that we wanted to go to, to play at a festival and screen for all our friends and family and network and do the whole red carpet thing. I wanna to talk to you guys today about how I go about planning my film festival strategy, what I look for, what I don't look for. I don't know, I wish I knew this stuff when I was just starting out and now I do. So now I wanna share it with you guys. But first, it is like two in the afternoon. <laughs> I've been procrastinating coffee and you know, everything today like crazy. So I'm gonna do that and then we're gonna sit down and, and chat. Sweet. Yeah, this is just taking its sweet ass time. But so here's what my month is looking like. My, my short film, Everything's Fine, A Panic Attack in D Major is playing in about four film festivals in March. As of now, two film festivals in April. We had a couple in January, and, and so we're like in the middle of our festival calendar right now. My brain is spinning in, in seven different directions, trying to coordinate who's attending what, which of the cast and crew are going where, uh, and how we're gonna best maximize the film's footprint at all of these festivals. First of all, how did we go about getting in these festivals? Good question, friend of friend. Every film festival runs through a platform called Film Freeway. There used to be two platforms, Film Freeway and Without a Box. Without a Box is still running, but they're kind of shutting it down. So Film Freeway is the main thing right now. It's kind of like, like remember the common application for college when you were applying to colleges and there was like one website where you just kind of like add to cart all the colleges you want to apply for and hit cha-ching and you're good. It's the same way with film festivals. So you just kind of mass apply to a bunch of things, you pray you get into them, and that should be it, right? Well, kind of. See, not all film festivals are the same, and not all film festivals look for the same kind of content. So it's really important as you're going through the laundry list of film festivals that you think, okay, what is my film? What kind of story is it? What genre of movie is it? And what themes and what uh, motifs of my movie will resonate with the audiences at these festivals? What is the reaction that I want from the audience? Once you figure that out, then you can go through and do research on the kinds of movies the different festivals of the world program and think, okay, would we be a good fit for this? Do Have they played something like my movie in the past? Does this festival like this kind of stuff? And it's important to think of it that way instead of the opposite way. You know, when you're making the movie, you don't wanna think, okay, wait, what kind of movie should we make that can play in Sundance? That's the wrong way to do it. Cause like I said in a previous video, that's just gonna be telegraphed and projected so hard that you're not really genuine about the story that you're trying to tell. What you should do is make the story and make the film that you wanna make and then see where it's a good fit for. And to be totally honest, you know, it might not be Sundance. It might not be Cannes, Berlin, Toronto, or Venice either. It just, those are, you know, those are the ones that people want to get in. Those are the big festivals, but they might not be the right festival for you, you know? Think about where your film would be a good fit and then apply. So when we were submitting Everything's Fine, we submitted to three different categories. We had our A-list festivals. That's your, your Sundance, your South by Southwest. You know, those are the ones that are like the big reach. Just like when you're applying to college, you apply to your big reach school. You know, mine was Dartmouth. They said no. Um, then we apply to a broader list of festivals that are called the Academy Qualifiers. Those are the ones on, it's like a list of 80 or so festivals that the Academy Awards says, if you play there and win, you can be nominated for an Oscar. So they're kind of in like the next tier, right? And then the third tier are just a bunch of the small hyper-local ones that I knew if we happened to get into one of those, I, we could attend because you don't want to apply to a festival if you can't actually go there. So to put this into context for you, for everything's fine, we applied to about 60 or so festivals. So far we got into about nine. So you can't just like randomly apply because that stuff gets expensive, you know? You gotta be strategic about it. This is a nice supermarket. Spinach and baby kale, the best. 
best lettuce salad combination ever. So it's funny, I'm only limited to the stuff I can fit inside the basket of the Uber rental rental bike. So I always have to limit limit what I can carry in one trip, which is kind of annoying. Don't judge me, okay? Duncan's great. All right, mission accomplished. At least I got something done today, right? And finally, once you're there, then it's party time. Then it's time for you to enjoy screening your work in front of an audience with a lot of people. And it's the best feeling because you get to hear reactions, your jokes land or don't land with an audience. And then you get a chance to meet and mingle with other, other filmmakers and talk about your work and share ideas and exchange contact information. It's important, if nothing else, even if you only get into one, to, to go to it and to show up and to be professional and and really try to sell yourself in your work, but also just listen and learn and observe and absorb everything that you can. Because you never know who you're gonna brush shoulders with and what conversations may spark from there. That's where I'm gonna leave you guys for today. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Be sure to like and subscribe and do all that youtube -y stuff because if we get enough subscriptions out here, YouTube out in LA can help us do some really awesome stuff. So I definitely appreciate it. Until next time, friends, keep on doing it live. And I will talk to you all real soon. Ha, fooled you.